Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I've I've seen I, I've had this problem, as many of you have, have had this problem, um, where you have well, where I have downloaded a Brickle, and I uninstalled the Brickle, and then all of a sudden um, I wanted to install another one, which was uh, Windows uh, Windows Vista. To the new one from crystalxp.net. Um, I wanted to download that one for quite a while, and I could never download it. it kept on saying, uh, "Error! There is another shell pack running. Uninstall first, and do you wish to uninstall it yourself? Something like that." And then I would press yes, and nothing would pop up. So I would have to manually or something um, take that off, but I couldn't. So I surfed the web, you know, I checked everywhere, I checked the, how to uninstall what, because I couldn't find the Brickle, and I've noticed there were some, a lot of people that were asking the same question as like me, but they couldn't find the answer, and neither can I. But I found out a way. I actually got, you know, with a little clues, you know, on when people would on the messages, on the messages that we put, the people were trying to find out how to um, uninstall that Brickle. Well, I found out how to install, um, supposedly the Brickle you have, or you're trying to install a new Brickle into your um, XP, I would say. Um, I know how to install whatever those little files, whatever that were left behind when you want to install the other Brickle that you have. Um, here's what you do. You go to my computer. You go to my computer. As you can see, mine already has the Vista look. Although, if you're a person that really wants your computer really fast, I really don't recommend this. Because I would really recommend if you had an XP, just put it on the classic mode. In the classic mode, it's faster because that's like the most. I, it's the most original one that it was supposed to be for EXP, the classic. So with the classic, I mean, it's much faster than. But if you download one of these, the brick goes. I mean, it does get a it does get a little slower. So I don't really recommend it that much. But those of you that just want the used to look, go go right ahead, download it. All right, you get into my computer. Yeah, I would really should have put it on XP for you, those of you. No, visual might get you a little confused, but you should get it. It's the same thing. Um, you go to local disk, alright. Alright, as you can see, it's a little bit slow. Uh, you go to, uh, how was it? Oh, yeah. You go to open, you open it, and then you should, yeah, where is it? You go, you look for one, that, a folder that says Windows. There we go. There's the Windows. Windows, and then after Windows, you should get all these files, right? All oh my bad, my, all these folders, and of course some files. Yes. Um, hold on, let me merge this. There we go. And you get all these folders. Oh, okay. I guess it froze up a little bit here. This hold on. Nah. This is why I wouldn't recommend that much the Vista, but those of you that have wanted it into a Vista look, you might want to put it to attention on that, that it kind of just it does get a little freezy. Alright, I don't know why it's freezing all of a sudden really bad right here. I mean, it wasn't freezing this bad. Alright, 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 we got it. Alright, so you open up Windows, you open it up, you scroll down. You're you're supposed to look for something called what's it called? Reg edit. It's it's this one. Reg edit. Where is it? That one. That one. Reg 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 edit. All right. You find that one. Hold on. First, you, you see a bunch of folders at the beginning. A bunch of folders at the top. But you scroll down. You scroll down. You you find reg edit. You click it. And I don't, 
I recommend you do not mess around with this program. This program is connected to your whole PC. I mean, it has all the main, you know, programs. I mean, you don't want to mess with it. This might really break your computer. All right. Then when you click on it, you get you get this window right here. Yeah, you get all this, and you go to my cur my current user. You go to my current user, you click on it, as you can see, my current user, you click on it, then you get more folders, and you look for software. You click on software, alright, then you should look for something like Brickle, Brickle, but since I already deleted it, or hold on, I think I might have the Brickle one for my new Brickle, well, I don't think I have it anymore, I think I changed it, let's see. Windows, uh, no, I don't think I have it anymore. Well, well, those of you that are trying to download it, there should be a brickle somewhere in the bees. There should be a brickle after you went from the software. There should be somewhere something about brickle. When you find that brickle, you click on it, any, like, you click on it something like this. Not like that, or like that. But I would just click on it, and on this side, on the right side, you get these little windows right here, these little folders, and whatever is there, delete it from the brick. After you're done deleting, my, one of them might come up and say you cannot delete or whatever. So you go back to the left side, you click on whatever the brick was called, and then you just delete the whole thing, and that's pretty much it. You delete it, and you reinstall your computer. You go back to whatever website you downloaded the Windows Vista in Spirit, as in in Crystal, I would say, Crystal XP. And there you go, you pretty much have it there. After that, you can download the, the Brickles, and that's pretty much it. Although, I really don't recommend it that much, because it really kind of freezes up your computer. I mean, I've, like, took off some programs I don't run. And I can make my computer faster because of this. But I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just gonna sometimes leave it when I'm in the mood to use Vista. But I'm thinking of changing it back to normal how I had it. I mean, if you you can uninstall it, and you can still have that v Vista look on theme, which will be fast. It will be a little bit faster because you uninstall it, but you'll still keep the theme. Although you're not gonna you know, once you log off and turn off the computer, whatever. Eventually. All these new little icons, go pull off. All these new icons, like the recycling bin, the folders, the new little icons on them, they're going to eventually change back to the old one once you uninstall the brickle. But if you want to install it again, you're going to have to do the same thing, delete it. Delete it from the Reggie editor, registry editor. And, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that helps anybody out there that wanted to find out how to uninstall whatever brickle you had that was installed. So, yeah. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, hope to make more to help more people.